Inbound passengers make their way into this port of entry at the Muritola Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, which is Nigeria's premier gateway. Here, officials of Port Health go through the COVID-19 test results before admitting the new arrivals into the country. For many of these people, getting a COVID test in their originating countries is not difficult. Doing the test in Dubai, you go to hospital, you do the test. It's not free, you pay. Before coming back, when you get the port, you do another one. Well, I did COVID tests in the US and uh, I also paid online for COVID tests to be done in Nigeria. I think it's a good idea if everybody complies with it. Away from the arrival hall to the departure, where many Nigerians and non-Nigerians are going through the outbound check-in procedures for their flight. The process of the COVID test is uh, before 72, 72 hours from the departure, you need to go for the test. The report will come after 24 hours to you. If the report comes negative, you, are, uh, you can ready to fly. In Nigeria, to have a COVID test is not as easy that as you think, you can go there and take a COVID test, you might not get your test result for weeks. So it's a chance that you have to take. While private labs are mostly responsible for the test, reports arrive that getting a fake COVID test here at the international airport is as easy as ABC and will cost between 25 and 45,000 Naira. Although no one was willing to share information about how this is done, the woman in charge at this terminal explains that they are not unaware of the development. We are, we've heard stories and we are concerned and we've investigated some. And uh, we are trying to ensure that the um, right things are done. Like we said, we are not directly involved, but we work together. And when we notice anything on toward, we call the attention of a portal to it. Just this week, Emirates Airlines and KLM came under government spotlight for conducting COVID-19 rapid tests on passengers four hours prior to boarding. An industry expert connects the dots to the prevalence of fake COVID-19 results. Then when they realize that your people keep, they keep coming up with fake COVID tests and, it, and it's affecting their people, affecting their country, the appropriate thing to do at that particular is to put additional measures. The issue of fake COVID-19 certificates may not be limited to Nigeria, as Europol, the European Union's law enforcement agency, announced on the 1st of February that the illicit sales of fake negative COVID-19 test results are becoming more widespread as criminals look to profit from travel restrictions imposed during the pandemic. Bukola Joe Okitumbi, Channels Television News.